Aquarius, welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Raina here, and so I'm shuffling the cards. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Okay, well, I, you know, I just did Pisces video, and I was explaining that I got a comment last month about somebody saying, you know, I'm not in a relationship, and, and kind of intimating that my readings were more geared towards relationships and it just seems like it, it goes that way and my theory is because a lot of times we have history so even if we're in a new relationship the old one can rear its ugly head or its beautiful head and um, interfere with whatever's happening and impact it in some way okay so it's very hard to just act like everybody is totally without a past, without any kind of thing. And so I apologize if I seem like I'm dealing with more relationship issues. I'll try, <laughs> but I have here as the past experience the Ten of uh, Swords, which deals with some kind of betrayal. And so it's hard for me to come up with uh, an alternative interpretation for somebody who's single. I guess you could say that um, even if you're single and, and you haven't dated in a long time, that you may have been affected by some kind of betrayal. Now, this may not even be a romantic betrayal. This could be a feeling of um, somebody uh, breaking your trust in some way, uh, even a parent, you know, where, where a parent abandons the family and so you feel like you can never trust a partner because they might do the same thing to you. They might abandon you. It's very interesting about Aquarius because Aquarians tend to give off this vibe of being totally aloof and totally self-contained, but Aquarians are human like everyone else and they can um, experience that sort of abrupt ending to some kind of a significant relationship, and it can impact them in the future. Now, I wanted to say, too, that the swords connect to Aquarius and the other air signs, so Libra and Gemini. So if there's somebody of that sign who did you wrong, that could be talking about that experience. And now we have um, karma kicking in. Or you can look at the judgment card as rebirth. It's like coming through the fire and feeling this sense of, I, I would say, freedom. But this could also speak to a legal judgment, which gives you that sense of rebirth, freedom. And you can see with this card, and maybe this is just, um, I, think the, I think the Rider Waite deck, this is the Morgan Greer deck, I think they both have this celebratory element to it. But this is a card of the chickens coming home to roost, of cause and effect. And, um, and I, I think, too, it's like, look at me now. You know, how you like me now, you know. And then we have... Accompanying this, the King of Swords. So if this 
is a different person. This could be an older male who is even in a position of authority. I don't know if it's your boss or somebody like that. But, oh, but you know what this could be as a judge who's making that legal decision. These two cards could be connected. And this is like the, the, the decision comes in and now you're divorced. Whatever, this could be a facet of yourself where you are now uh, breaking free from, from this kind of um, fear of being abandoned or fear of um, some kind of betrayal by somebody because you're, you're kind of um, gaining mastery over your emotions, but there's always the danger that you're becoming too remote that you're losing touch with your feelings because you're so much in your head. But the king is the ultimate expression of control on the outer level. So at least to other people, you seem like you have your life under control. And as I said, I do believe that this is even more so a possibility that this is some kind of a divorce decree that comes in. And, um, and of course you had a, a, an eclipse in your sign in August, in early August, so that might be the aftermath of that, some kind of ending, major ending in your life. The higher message is the Seven of Cups, and this is maybe a cautionary tale if you are getting out of a bad marriage. That you are, I think that Aquarians are very charismatic in their own way, maybe in a quirky way. But you tend to have a lot of choices in partners. You tend to be very social and, and yet very independent, nonconformist. But even though you may have a lot of um, possibility, possible relationships, you have to choose wisely. And because you are so uh, open-minded, you can actually be attracted to people who are wildly incompatible with you because you may be attracted to some quirky part about them that is actually <laughs> very problematic. And if they have um, a chaotic lifestyle, you may find that very intriguing until it gets old, until you realize that it's not really that cute. Um, because this is cups, and this I think this is connected to Neptune, so it might be somebody who's a Pisces who is going to uh, play a significant role in your life. Or, you know, I did get the, the Scorpio card too, but, um, and, and here's another uh, Cups. But um, I would say overall that, that a spiritual message is be discerning when you're out there trying to find someone. Don't, um, don't think that you're being prejudiced, bigoted, narrow-minded if you have certain things that you're looking for in a partner. That doesn't make you petty. It's actually very wise to do that at the beginning, you know, before you get too deep into the relationship, that is. What crosses you is the Two of Pentacles. So you may be making a choice between two people that you can't make. Maybe you're um, Maybe you uh, uh, divorced somebody because you had a, um, a person waiting in the wings and maybe they can't decide what they want to do. If this is uh, someone that you come across that happens to be an earth sign, for instance, watch out because this person may not be really good for you. That would be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I'm not saying that all earth signs are bad for you. I'm saying that the, as the challenge position, it may indicate 
somebody that's in your life that is not necessarily um, enhancing it. The Two of Pentacles can also be about having a lot on your plate. So maybe working two jobs, um, having spreading yourself thin, and that may prevent you from being able to meet people. And that can create issues where you happen to have a, a night off and, and you meet someone, and then you are not able to know them in depth, which is very important because this this card is about something looking good on the surface, but underneath it's not what it appears to be. So with the Two of Pentacles, it's very important to know that you can't um, have everything. Sometimes you have to choose. If you're working a lot, then you just have to resign yourself to the fact that Ah, I guess this isn't the time that I'm going to be um, able to look for a partner and to devote time to get to know them. So I guess maybe in six months I'll try again when I'm not so busy with work or maybe with school. It could also deal with um, a job offer that's overseas that perhaps has been delayed. In December we're having a Mercury retrograde. And so that may delay people's plans. Um, the, the Mercury retrograde is from December 3rd through the 22nd, I believe, but the dates around those, so for the whole month of December, you could say that Mercury is probably in its shadow, if not in the actual retrograde cycle. Uh, but you may hear from somebody from your past, and uh, maybe that's why this is in the reverse position, Mercury's retrograde. And so watch out for that if that relationship was not a good one. Because you may get suckered into something that um, you forgot was really not all that. <clears throat> the advice for what's coming in is the... Nine of Cups, this is the Wish Fulfillment card. This is a very positive card in the Minor Arcana. And um, there may be something that you are very happy about achieving that comes from the area of love. Maybe you meet somebody during December, um, possibly reunite with somebody, but something comes your way that you really wanted to have happen and um, it puts a smile on your face and you feel like you're satisfied and because these are cups it's like an emotional satisfaction perhaps it is somebody that's a water sign so we're talking about cancer Scorpio or Pisces um, the the outcome is the death card which is associated with Scorpio. And strangely enough, Scorpios and Aquarians do occasionally get together. But it is something that has to be really um, navigated carefully between both parties because they are very different. You're, you're very, you're very um, cerebral and detached and um, Scorpio is very intense and em emotional and you're both fixed signs so that can also create friction because when um, uh, signs are squaring like that they tend to clash in certain areas. There may be attraction in certain areas and clashing in certain areas. But this is overall, I'm s saying again with that lunar eclipse on August 7th, this is pointing to this transitional period in your life at the end of 2017. And um, in actually in December, on December 20th, you have Saturn going into 12th house. So this is going to be a two and a half year cycle before Saturn goes into your sign, Aquarius, where you may have to grapple with some situations, um, or it's actually more of an internalized thing where you 
your um, psyche needs to be kind of um, disciplined. Maybe you've allowed things to, to, to fester and you haven't really dealt with them. And this is what I was talking about, that that could be from a long time ago. And um, there's a new chapter forming in your life. And this may lead you to meet someone, and the, this could be a, a person that is a pivotal person in your, in your life during this transformation for you. The death card is about endings, but it's also transformations that result from an old way of being. So whatever happens, it's going to be something that you feel good about and you're glad to put it to bed. And again, maybe it was a long-term marriage even. And you're going to you're going to feel this sense of renewal as a result, result of starting a whole new chapter in your life. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Um, I just wanted to make you aware that I have a special through the end of 2017, 20% off all of my readings, including my love readings. And um, if you scroll down below this video, I provide a link to my website and um, the coupon code, code is Jupiter and you put it in at checkout and um, it subtracts the um, discount from the price that's listed. But anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful December, you guys, and take care of yourselves. Bye.